Welcome back to Let's Play Ghostbusters. I'm Burning Dogface, and we now continue with the episode already in progress. Hello, Johnny. Ready to get what's coming to you? Neat. Get ready for a Class 1 felony, and we do not tolerate it in our jurisdiction. Get him! It's gotta have a weak spot somewhere! Oh, I should check the upgrades. Nissan Glider Penetration and Accelerator. Overload Pulse Accelerator and Enhancer. Damage Increase and Rate of Fire Increase. Rate of Fire Increase, that could be useful for that one. Um, no, oh, I have a ton of money. Look at that. Uh... Oh, the pain. Extending the Proton Pack's Ring Accelerator Helix ex increases the surface area of the Collider's radiator. Through a secondary stab oh, though a secondary stabilizer is required to maintain quark anti quark balance, the resulting meson, uh, meson stream uh, recharge acceler the resulting meson stream recharge acceleration provides a noticeable rate of fire increase. The addition of a bleeder line to the proton pack's neut uh, neutron sump creates additional capacitor storage. This increases the maximum pressure load of each overload pulse projectile, yielding a substantial damage increase. Note, though this uh, damage increase is strong enough to penetrate the membrane that separates the re this reality from the next, it has, proven, it has been proven inadvisable to use this dimensional rip for storage, soft uh, spot cleaning, or as a trash receptacle. What? Oh, you can shoot holes into hammer space! <laughs> Eh, what the hell. I like that weapon. And it's expensive, so, you know, since I've got the funds. Experimenting with the Shock Blast's Baryon Condenser Ring has resulted in a substantial increase in the recharge rate of dark matter particles without a corresponding heating rate increase. This results in a dramatic increase in the Shock Blast's rate of fire. Condenser Ring leakage has been known to affect the wearer's neuroelectric state, resulting in an elevated intemperance and an increase in general wantonness. User discretion is advised. It's been determined possible to vent excess bosons from the pack's fermion absorption ring directly into the meson particle stream. The resulting increase in the angular momentum of the stream's mes meson flow substantially increases the meson collider's shot penetration potential, allowing the careful user to damage more than one target at a time. While extended proximity to this enriched meson stream has resulted in the sterility of laboratory mice, its impact on humans remains debatable. Wonderful. Ow! What in the hell? Venom Crawler. Class 6 at Vermin Dominant. Weakness to slime. Venom Crawlers are physical manifestations of the vermin spirits that power candelabrum crawlers having managed to breach the planar barriers and cross over to our world. Neat. Being actual physical entities, Venom Crawlers are much more powerful and dangerous in their lesser forms and should be treated with caution. Oh shit! There's portals here!
Wrong one. Alright, Fathead, where are you? Black Slime Fiend. Class 5, Black Slime Fiend. Great. Special Ambusher. These humanoid fiends are composed entirely of PKE-saturated black slime. Motivated by a seething anger and caustic to the touch, black slime fiends are dangerous, if, if straightforward and unimaginative fighters. But don't be lulled by their apparent simplicity. Black slime fiends are seldom encountered alone. Ah! Eat a dick! No, you don't! Remember, kids, think happy thoughts. Egon! Like, how pleased I was when I finally beat American McGee's Alice, my first LP. It's a whole swarm. For that time, a friend flew all the way up in the States to meet me. It's always nice to meet online friends. Or. Or how I'm going to feel when I beat this game and I can finally move on to something that isn't secretly dark and serious. There you are, you fuck! That's what I call conflict resolution. Huh? Oh wow, I made a lot of dollar dues. Let's get this, because it's been around longer. Like, that's really the thing I'm going for. I'm just making money hand over fist at this point. Slime tether cost reduction. No, but let's do it anyway. It has been discovered that the flash-heating ectoplasm immediately before it enters the slime tether's compression chamber results in a tether strand that requires fewer ectoplasm linkages. This reduces the amount of slime needed for each tether, allowing the user to fire more slime tethers before a pack shutdown is triggered. Hmm. It has also been reported that this flash-heating substantially improves a tether strand's taste, though it is suggested you don't attempt to verify this for yourself. You got it. Eat a dick. It's slime fighting time. <laughs> no one except me is even going to get that joke. I have to admit it, folks, sometimes I say things just to amuse myself. Fuck you and your machine! Hey, over here, a little help? I, 
didn't mean to jump up and down on you. Sorry! Can we contain this guy? He's pretty fucking strong. Oh shit, not this again. The slime is effective, it's just not very powerful. I mean, this is after I've upgraded it, too. It's, you know, it's at least been upgraded to be, uh, tolerable at this point. I mean, it took forever to do anything with the slime before. Stop the timer, but we're still gonna take this asshole out before we call it a day. Fuck you! I notice they do that a lot, where the Ghostbusters don't seem to know which weapon they want to use. Like, a bunch of times, on both times I tried that room with all the Possessor Ghosts, I saw them blasting, uh, possessed people with the, uh, Proton Stream. How embarrassing. Could have been keeping track on him this whole time. Hey, over here. What the? Black Slime Ghost. These entities are unique among... Oh, it's a Class 5 Black Slime Floater. These entities are unique among Class 5 Ghosts. Unlike other phantoms, the ectoplasm that creates the form of these creatures is infused of Black Slime. The resulting hybrid is, except is an exceptionally dangerous enemy that can be difficult to overcome. Recent developments have indicated that black slime floaters may not be a naturally occurring denizen of the ghost world. Let's cross the slimes, bitch! Eat a dick! Hey, Gon, don't stand in that. Okay, that's done. And you're done. How did you go down? Oh, oh right. Portal. Closed! Hey, fucker! That wasn't as effective as I need, thought it would be. Need to get the guys up. On it! Don't you die on me! I'm on it. Could be trouble. Oh. You guys are my childhood heroes, for fuck's sake! Ow! That was... that was... ow there! Yeah. Almost there. It was easier to look up to a person who was human than it was to look up to Optimus Prime, you know? Make a hole! Oh. I'm down. What is hitting them? I was watching! How does it even hurt them? Well, there you go. Same video I got it. Here's the last of, the, uh, of this unit's uh, upgrades. Overload Pulse Accelerator. 
Pulsing the meson collider's primary field coil and shunting the generated overflow through the boson dart's boson absorption matrix dramatically increases the recharge interval, uh, decreases, sorry, the recharge interval between generation of each overload pulse projectile, resulting in a substantially increased rate of fire. Come on! The big guy is almost toast. We can do this. Oh, come on! I should have shuttered you fraudulent gangsters forever when I had the chance. You know what? I'm going to put an end to this madness now. Right now. I'm shutting down your containment grid for good. You can kiss off a permanent license, not to mention any chance for more government contracts. You did this to me. And you're going to pay. You're welcome, you peck. All right, that's it. That's it. You're done, smart guys. You are done, smart, cool guys. I have the authority, and I'm shutting you and your phony containment grid down now. The whole city will have to pay because of your shenanigans. The whole city! What? But that shuts you down, too. Well, so be it. I have bigger fish to fry. And get him off me! I think we need to keep an eye on him. You think? No. I mean, we really need to keep an eye on him. Is he still possessed or something? Oh shit, is he working with the cult of Gozer? Also, are we going to jail? That was kind of a thing. They got arrested in the first movie and uh, committed in the second one. So I'm just wondering if there's going to be a part where we all get sent to jail. As soon as it gets to this loading screen, I can call it an episode. Come on, I got stuff to do today. You're real heroes. Kind of routine. As usual, I led the charge. <laughs> We're fired heroes. Peck's gonna pull our license. Well, get real, hey? It's the holidays. Nobody in this town's gonna be around to pull our license till Monday. We got the whole weekend to stop this calamity and probably half a dozen others, save the city. We got a four day weekend. We have time left for ourselves. Dr. Vinkman, if they start evacuating Manhattan, I won't be coming in on Monday. Catastrophic exodus of the city does not count as a floating holiday. I know, I looked it up. <laughs> Mildly disappointed to see that the chair that moves around is still right here, but, you know, uh, we have time for that, uh, later. Oh, shit! Actually, we do, before we do go, uh, I looked it up, and once again I was surprised to find... My dreams are blood-soaked, dark things, filled Hello, with furious vengeance. That really is Max von Sydow's voice, which is, uh, really funny to me. In any event, I'm Burning Dog Face. This has been Let's Play Ghostbusters, and I'll see you next time when we get back to uh, the fine art of saving the world. Later! <laughs>